okay dear students uh, so let us see what is there in this question a ball of mass 0.3 kg is attached to a light inextensible string it is rotated in a vertical circle now this is a vertical circle that we're talking about the length of the string is 0.6 meter the speed of the rotation of the ball is 4 meter per second so speed is given as 4 meter per second what is the tension when the string is horizontal okay fine so my dear students uh, here uh, let us uh, let, let me tell you something about the horizontal circles and the vertical circle see this, these are two different topics when we talk about the horizontal circle we do not consider weight we do not consider weight because in horizontal circle like let us say the ball is rotating like this so we do not consider the weight because weight is in the downward direction and it is acting in the downward direction at all of the positions and it does not create any difference to the ball but when it comes to the vertical circle at that time things become different for example in this question the weight will be acting downwards so when the body is at the bottom post most position the weight is downwards now when the ball tries to go up the weight is acting against the motion and it tries to reduce the velocity and when it reaches the topmost position the velocity becomes minimum and when it again it starts falling in this way the gravity now facilitates the motion and thereby increasing the speed of the bob so it means that this velocity was minimum and here the velocity becomes maximum so velocity is a variable in the vertical circles in which the bob is allowed to freely move under the effect of gravity but now the problem is they are talking about the vertical circle but they are not giving the freedom to the ball to move according to the gravity because they have given that the speed of rotation of the ball is 4 so something is there like let us say uh, this is not a string but we have a rod here and this rod is attached with a motor and this motor is giving it a particular angular velocity which we can't control which is not controlled by the gravity so the velocity becomes a constant so in this vertical circle that they have asked in this particular question it is not different from the horizontal circle so we do not need to consider weight in this so we are left only with one particular force and that particular force is centripetal and centrifugal so the tension in the string now this is going to be the tension in the string in the inward direction so we know that this tension will be equal to the centripetal force and centripetal force is given by the formula mv square by r so we just apply this formula and we get the answer how the mass of this is taken to be 0 0.3 and the velocity is given as 4 and it is constant and the radius is given as 0 0.6 meter we have confirmed that all the values are in SI units so that is why we can just substitute the values and get the answer it will be 2 and this is going to be 16 so it is coming out to be 8 newton so i think this should be very clear first of all there are two type of circle one is horizontal and horizontal circle is very simple so we do not consider gravity there and there is only one formula that is the centripetal force mv square by r in the vertical circle there are many things it's very very confusing vertical circle but in the vertical circle when this velocity becomes a constant it is given in the question things become very easy and this circle can be compared with the horizontal circle so this is professor varun students please follow this youtube channel for getting more of such kind of uh, solutions and uh, if you have some doubts you can also send me on my whatsapp so this is professor varun all the best